welcome to A Single to the Smiles. Where your smile is your best asset. Welcome back to another episode. Ha ha, I like that. <laughs> Maybe it's the, the newfound look. Look at Mrs. Singleton here. New looking found look. good. <laughs> looking good. <laughs> All right. This is going to be a good video. I can tell already. All right. Now, what were you saying? I'm sorry. Thank you. So today, we're going to be offering you guys our top seven interview tips. Seven. What? Why seven, though? That seems like such a... Uh, no. Because I came up with seven. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to be followed by a few questions that we had on some of the interviews that we've gone on ourselves. Yeah. So tip number seven, be confident. Yes, yes. Nothing worse than someone who comes into the interview um, and they're unsure of themselves. You know, so definitely be confident. You know, Maybe you have the swag. You just have to unleash it. Hold your head high, you know, don't walk around looking unsure of yourself um if they ask you a question even if you feel like you don't know the answer just be confident in whatever you say exactly basically confidence speaks volumes tip number six arrive um, on time Ooh, and you do not like to be on time for anything in the world but when we were interviewing we were on time no one wants someone who uh, is tardy to the party. So be on time, guys. 15 to 20 minutes prior to your scheduled interview, make it happen. Okay, tip number five, dress appropriately. Yes, yes, yes. I'll let you talk about uh, the appropriate attire for women. But for us men, uh, a nice suit um, that includes, for those of you who are unaware of what a suit is, uh, so we're talking about a uh, coat, pants, dress shirt, and a tie. Uh, and please, if at all possible, make sure the suit fits. Please do not wear a suit that is too big or too small. It is distracting uh, to not only your interviewer, but quite frankly, to everybody in the room. So uh, let's come dressed as if we know we're going to get a seat at that particular school. Uh, make sure your clothes are pressed um, and let's shy away from bold colors like reds and yellows. Uh, yeah, let's stick to, you know, our blacks and blues, I would say. Um, okay, so for ladies, if you wear a skirt, make sure you wear pantyhose um, with your skirt. And make sure the skirt is at least the length of your arms when you put it at your side. Um, also, try to avoid wearing open-toed shoes. As far as color, we um, decided to go a little different with our interview. Um, at least the shirt that was under the coat. Um, I know I wore a pink shirt. I think, didn't you wear a pink shirt Yeah, once? yeah. Yeah, so you know, you kind of want to wear something that's going to make you stand out as well. Nothing too over the top, but you do want to set yourself apart from, you know, the cookie cutter interviewee. Um, so we'll post a picture of what we wore to our interview if you guys want some ideas. Tip number four, ask questions of your interviewer. Yes, yes, yes. That is very important. It's very important. Uh, that your interviewer sees that you're engaged in the process. So obviously we don't want you just uh, asking questions for the sake of asking questions, but if you have questions and you should, please ask them. Um, so during the course of your interview day, some of the questions that you uh, may have already prepared uh, may have been answered throughout the course of the day. So that's perfectly fine, but at least you need to come prepared with questions that you want to ask um, and it will be well received, I think. Yeah, even if it's as simple as, um, oh, can you suggest a place in the area that I can eat at after the interview is up? You know, just anything to let them know that you value their opinion and, you know, just seem conversational. Tip number three, rehearse your responses, but make them seem natural. Yes, yes. You, you had a tip? Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> Hold on, guys. So Kalia has a tip. What do you want to say, baby? What's your tip? 
Uh, she gets camera shy. So yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely rehearse those responses. Uh, but yeah, don't make it seem so rehearsed. Why dentistry? And then you're already rattling off your uh, your two minute response. No, make it natural. And just throw in a few ums or you know pause for a second and think. And another thing, if you're asked a question and you're thrown off guard, you're caught off guard, it's perfectly fine to say, hmm, that's a great question. Can I have a moment to think about that? Or even if you don't say that, say, hmm, that's a great question. And then just simply pause for a few seconds to think about your response. Tip number two. Number two. To Clea, can you say dos? Dos? Say dos. <laughs> Camera shy. I mean, I promise you guys, she she can say those. Tip number two: practice your responses with a partner, or even record yourself if you don't have anyone to practice with. Yep. Also, uh, another good thing to do is uh, stand in front of the mirror and uh, watch yourself as you speak. So when you when doing that, that'll kind of reveal a lot of tendencies that uh, are not necessarily the best tendencies to have during an interview. Uh, and you can uh, correct them as necessary. So obviously David and I had each other to practice with. That was great. So what we did was we um, wrote down our responses to popular interview questions, practiced them, and then we um, came together afterward and kind of just interviewed each other. Um, and we also recorded ourselves as well because it helps you to just look at yourself while you're saying these things to see, you know, maybe you're doing something that you didn't even notice that you were doing. And finally, tip number one. Number one. Uno. Say uno. Uno. Yay! Yay. <laughs> the last and final tip. Send an email or a thank you card just letting your interviewer know that you appreciated their time. I mean, there's nothing uh, that would make you stand out more than sending a thank you card uh, and a thank you email because everyone is not doing that. So the fact that you take the time out to send that thank you card and then reference some things that you guys spoke about in your interview is major, major, major. It shows that you were, um, it shows that you know, you took the interview seriously. And the example that we gave earlier where we said, you know, if you can't think of a question to ask, ask where is there a nice place that I can eat? You can bring that up in the email if they um, referred you to a place. Cause I know after my interview at UDM, my interviewer told me, oh, you should try this place called Supino's Pizza. So I emailed her um, the next day and I said, oh, I tried it and it was great. Thanks for the recommendation you know, in my thank you response to her. So not only does that make it seem like you paid attention in the interview, it also kind of helps the interviewer to remember you. Okay, so now let's get into some of the top interview questions. I'll give you guys tips for those and then we'll kind of role play and show you guys what it sounds like when it comes together. So the first one is the tell me about yourself question. Um, for this one, avoid talking dentistry. You can tell them things like where you're from, your favorite TV show or hobby, your favorite sports team. If you have any siblings, mention that. And any pets, that's a good one as well. So, let's put it together. So David, tell me about yourself. Absolutely. Well, as you know, my name is David Singleton. I'm from Birmingham, Alabama, so I guess I could consider myself a country boy. Uh, I was born in Waukegan, Illinois, which is not that far from Chicago. I have a younger brother. Uh, he lives in Birmingham as well. Uh, my favorite TV show is Power. Love that show. Um, I do have a teacup Yorkie, uh, my wife and I. Uh, how can I forget? I have a beautiful baby girl named Kalia and one daughter on the way. And my favorite sports team is um, the Florida State Seminoles. Um, that's my alma mater. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh -oh. So another common question that you can expect is an ethical question. I know at UDM, the ethical question is sure to be asked. So you wanna be 100% uh, honest with this question. The interviewers are really looking to assess how quick you are on your feet. Uh, so for this question, uh, like I said, just be yourself, be 100% honest. An example of that would be if they ask you, uh, if you saw another student cheating or if you knew that another student had answers to a big upcoming exam, what would you do? 
Obviously, the cliche answer would be, I would tell the teacher. But, I mean, in reality, nobody hardly ever does that. So, just be honest and realistic. So let's piece this together for you to see how it would um, play out in real time. So Jessica, if you were in school and you saw someone cheating, what would you do? Hmm. Well, I actually have a, a real life example of this. A close friend of mine recently told me that she had the answers to a big exam that she had to take. Um, and I asked her, I said, so would you rather cheat on the exam and not know what you're doing in a career that you see yourself in? Or would you rather study and, you know, try to at least understand what you're getting yourself into? And so that was my response to her. And I feel like I would apply that um, in dental school as well. Because you're trying to become a dentist, you want to know this information. Thank you. I think that's a pretty honest response. So the next question is the why this school question. Um, for this one, just be prepared by researching the school ahead of time, obviously, and finding a few things that you like about the school. Um, for instance, you can talk about the curriculum if you like that, um, things in clinic, if they have like a certain way that their clinic is run, you can talk about that. Um, the location of the school, for instance, at my Nova interview, I told them that I, you know, I, cho I would choose Nova because of the location. It's close to home, it's close to family, and that's important to me. That's what I said. Um, also, if the school has research that they take part in, that would be a good one if you're into that. Um, as well as technology, you can look into if they have, you know, recent technology at their school that you might like. Um, CAD CAM system is um, a big thing that a lot of dental schools are moving toward. Right, or digital radiographs. That's another thing as well. Okay, so yeah, those are just some good things to look for in the school that you're interviewing at. And if you know about it, it'll also impress the interviewer as well. So let's give it to you real time. So David, of all the schools that you're interviewing at, why would you choose UDM? Well, I've always wanted to attend this institution, specifically because the school is situated in a very urban community. And by the school being in this particular area, it allows it to service individuals in a community um, that have an access to care issue. So with that being said, I know that uh, the experiences that I would get uh, from a clinical standpoint would be uh, very superior uh, in comparison to other schools. Also, I understand that uh, recently the clinic, or excuse me, the school has changed its clinic model. Uh, now the third and fourth year students are partnered when they're in clinic. And I believe that uh, as a third year dental student just coming in from, the, uh, from my uh, two years of didactic courses, I think this would be a great asset to me to have a senior student there to teach me and kind of show me the ropes. Uh, so all things considered, I really love UDM, but really, really, really because it has a very great clinical program and I want to be a practice ready dentist. All right. So the final common interview question uh, is the question about your strengths and weaknesses. You want to be honest, obviously, as with everything, but you want to position yourself with each response in such a way that it will make you stand out. Uh, regardless if you're telling about a strength or if you're telling about a weakness. So for your strengths, obviously you're gonna blow those out of the park, whatever you're uh, really good at. You obviously wanna highlight that. As far as your weaknesses are concerned, you want to uh, choose a weakness, but when you, um, when you explain your weakness to the interviewer, you don't wanna necessarily make your weakness seem as if it's a weakness. So for example, if an interviewer asks you what's your, one of your weaknesses, you can say, um, I'm a multitasker and I love to take on lots of different tasks at once. However, sometimes I'm taking on too much and it just becomes too much to handle. So I kind of overwhelm myself in a sense. So we will show you real time how uh, this question should be answered. So Jessica, you seem so perfect. You have to have a weakness. Give me one of your weakness. Well, I do wish I was better at public speaking, and I'm working on this. Um, in fact, I recently spoke to my pre-dental group um, about an event that I went to, and it actually didn't go half bad. I felt a lot more comfortable um, speaking in front of the crowd, so I'm trying to put myself out there more so that I can get better at this. So I know you guys are probably wondering, well, why didn't they mention the biggest interview question, which is why dentistry? 
Well, this question is a bit involved and really only you can answer that. But I will say, mention whatever you put in your personal statement, of course, because they're gonna look at that. Yeah, um, definitely whatever is in your personal statement, you need to know that personal statement. So I have another bonus tip for you guys on how to stand out at your interview, particularly at UDM if you have an interview here. Um, at your interview, you will be given a name badge and on the back of it, it'll have your interviewer's names. Um, and also you will have a group of student ambassadors that are helping to facilitate the interview. And so you can ask your student ambassador questions about your interviewer, you know, ask what course they teach or, you know, what they're involved in or anything like that. So that when you go into your interview, you'll seem like you research them and that you're interested in them. So for example, if your student ambassador told you, hey, Dr. Such and Such is the course director for the anatomy course, once you uh, go to your interview, you can bring that up and say, hey, Dr. Such and Such, I hear that you're the course director for the anatomy course. Uh, do you have any tips for a first year dental student? It's a great tip to make you stand out. All right, before we wrap it up, I just wanna make sure that you guys know, please be aware and be able to explain any poor grades you may have received because they can definitely ask you that in your interview. Um, oh, why did you receive such a grade in this course? You know, or whatever. So be prepared, you don't wanna be caught off guard with that. And that's the best advice that we can give you guys. Yep. If you have any questions, um, anything that we didn't touch on, or if there are any interview questions that you would like tips for that maybe we can help you with, please leave them in the comments below and we will be sure to respond to you. Like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel if you're not already subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. All right, guys, be easy and good luck. Got Good it. luck. You got it. You got it. You got if it. If you made it to the interview, you got it. Exactly. We're sending positive energy your way. All right, guys. Deuces. Until next time. Bye. Okay. Yes, baby. We're all done. Yeah. I can't see clearly. I can't see clearly. You're on. So if you're confident about something, uh, even if you're unsure about it, like she said, your confidence will come across as good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Quite frankly, so. Don't be tardy to the party. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't really go. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. What's going on? Kalia, calm down, okay? Stop it. Like, why are you pulling stop. on Stop, we're working. Just stop. That's that right. Yeah, video. Dose. <laughs> she's camera shy. I mean, I promise you guys, she she can say no. And then uh, another stuff about me. <laughs> Damn. Don't do that.